Could Lamar Jackson sign a deal before July the 27th? Something to think about. I'm putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, cut. Everybody knows Lamar Jackson is due for a contract extension. That's been the talk, well, I think, since last year. Could it happen before July the 27th? Eric DaCosta. Been saying for months, they're working on it. They've been talking. Lamar Jackson was asked about it. He just started cheesing, started smiling real hard. I still think something is up. Mm -hmm. But it's, he just, uh, the, I, the thing about it is, I wonder what the money is going to be like, the range. I believe it's going to be 40, 41, but then also, I, I wonder how many years. Are we going to go with like a 10 year like Patrick Mahomes? What's that, four to five years like Dak Prescott? To me, I believe he will might might do the four to five years and I believe it's well Baker has to get paid uh, did Josh Allen get paid I don't think Josh Allen has gotten paid yet but I think they're all waiting on Lamar and to me I'm like if you're waiting on Lamar Lamar's gonna have to make more than you Obviously, he's going to have to make more than Baker. Baker has Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham. I'm just going to talk about those two for right now. But he, he has some good weapons with him. Yes, he has multiple. He, ha he have had multiple head coaches and offense coordinators and things such as that. Welcome to Joe Flacco's world. Uh, for as the offense coordinators, but what in Josh Allen that first year he did okay, but then they gave him a Stephon Diggs and that literally flipped his whole career, stat wise. And Lamar, he didn't get no big name like that. They gave him Hollywood. Hollywood been doing his thing, but there's no one that's helping Hollywood. Hollywood looks on the other side of the the Hollywood looks on the other side of the field and he sees a boy again. No disrespect, but you know. And you think about what Lamar has done. Since he became the quarterback, rookie year, team is going down. Not even going to make it to the playoffs. He comes in, turn that switch on, saves John Harbaugh's, <laughs> saves John Harbaugh's job. Saves, really saves Greg Roman's job. Even though he wasn't the offense coordinator when he's a rookie, but he really promoted, I'll say that. He promoted Greg Roman to being the offense coordinator, unfortunately. We should have just kept him there one year and then bounced. But hopefully he fixes it this year. But he also get us to that playoff. Yeah, it wasn't a good game, but if you look at that game, if you really just go back and actually look at the entire game, still could have won it, but that defense, or not that uh, offensive line, because we whooped the Chargers earlier that year, and they was real upset. 
And that offensive line didn't get no help. And I believe that last fumble, I think, was that because of um, Orlando Brown? He missed his man. I think it was. But they kept just trying to run it, run it, run it. The last minute, they letting Lamar throw. It was like an emergency. Oh, we going to start letting you throw. But he did his thing then. Then the, then the next year, he, he starts. And that's when everything, NFL records getting broken. He wins the MVP. Russian records been broken for a quarterback. He demolished that thing like it wasn't nothing. He could have did more, but he's like, ah, ah. It's like, dude, get better and better. And then that's when he had, uh, he got, um, Hollywood that year. Hollywood was a rookie, I believe. Okay, the first year he's I was Michael Crabtree and stuff like that. I can't even remember who's on the other side. Crabtree. Man, I can't even remember. I, I deleted it from my memory, y'all. But still. Gus was tearing him up Russian. But you just think about it. Then the uh, they started, oh, he can't win playoff game. It was on his, what, second year? And they always screaming he can't win playoff game. The dude looks at haters, look, don't even do anything bad. He just continually grinding, continually get better. You look at his college career. Each year he gets better and better. No backstepping. He gets better and better. He works with the wide receiver. He works with the running backs in the offseason. This is all him being that leader. So many people have already said he is that leader. Down to earth, very humble. Love to play with him. Will run through a brick wall for him. You already stole him on a 30, 30 second pick. I was there. But it's like he comes, uh, what? We lose to the Titans on that, that season. But this, this previous season, you see he's playing, playing COVID. All that craziness happens. And. The Browns game was that point where he, he went out. We was winning. He went out to go stretch his leg. Maybe he had mud butt. We don't know. I ain't here to judge. Yeah, if you got to go, you got to go. But he went out. The Browns, boom, boom, just coming back, coming back. Coming back. McSorley ain't really doing much out there to help. He did some some key passes, though. I give him that. But he wasn't really putting points on the board like Lamar was. But this ain't no. The Browns are beating us. Lamar comes back. McSorley gets hurt. Lamar comes back. Boom, straight down the field, touchdown. Holly, get that connection with Hollywood. Boom, touchdown. Defense chokes it up. Lamar's like, ah, cool. I still got it. Don't worry, I still got it. I just need to get the greatest kick of all time in his range. And we, we out this piece with a win, with that dub. Go down the field. Boom. Get in position. Justin Tucker. Hits that mug. Game over. Blouses. Wins. That's that. Oh, he he always got to be up to win. Can't never do a comeback. 
It's hard to do comebacks when you're constantly up. I never understood that debate as well. They make that seem like that's a negative. Like, since you've been the starter, I believe we scored the most points, been leading with the most points since he's been the starter on so many games where his stats could have even been better if they didn't sit him out sometimes the whole second half. Sometimes he missed the whole fourth quarter because he didn't dust it him that bad. And he just blocks all the hate. You don't hear him getting in trouble. You hear his friends getting in trouble like Kodak Black and stuff, but Harv's like, dude, you're a grown man. You doing your thing. Staying out of trouble, being that good quarterback, working with the with the offense and hooking up your offensive line with gifts. Just saying thank you for just doing a superb job of protecting me, having my back. Then you get to the playoff game. The Titans again. We're down. It's not looking good. You know, they show Patrick Mahomes on the sideline. Yeah, we, we got this, y'all. We got this. Come on. Keep going. Lamar's like, we good, y'all. Still got the time on the clock. We good. Trust your boy. In that huddle, it ain't no telling what he's saying in that huddle. I'm like, yo, we got this. This game is not over. We've seen multiple times where he's went to the defense like, hey, we need this, we need this, we need this. Defense like, okay, okay, we got it, we got you. You done had our back, you have us rest. You be cooking that clock with the run game. You get us fully rested. We got you, bro. And he starts making the comeback. Wide receivers really not helping. Hollywood's getting doubled and Mark Andrews is getting doubled. He can't even depend on the other person over there. Willie Sneed is getting low. Slow. Not getting open. A.K. Sammy Watkins said that. Wide receivers are not getting open. Mm. Not a lot of them was because Hollywood's getting doubled. Hollywood's getting open sometimes, but pass protection wasn't always there. Hollywood, I mean, not Hollywood, Lamar's like, let me just go take over. Boom. Run. Get that big old game. And that completely, to me, in my opinion, that completely flipped the game. That in that pass. That was called Bob Mark Andrews. On that little corner. He's close to the out of bounds. He caught that mud. It was just straight chaotic. I think I went crazy in that video. Y'all have to go back and look at my reactions. Yeah, I, I think I went crazy on that. But come back, did that, and we was down. And we won that game. And threw that out the window twice in one year. Can't do comebacks and stuff like that. Now, it's time to pay the man. I know EDC is going to pay him. And you know you're going to have the naysayers and the haters. They already know this. That's not going to slow down Lamar. And on the and before I end this video, Lamar did something I seen on the Instagram. This dude, him and Kodak Black, bought people some air conditioners. I know some people are like air conditioners. Why well, ain't buying no food? When I was young, and I'm out here in Texas, where it gets ridiculous hot, where we used to have to pop up the window. 
put a fan up in that mug just to get some type of cool air, some type of breeze. Cause we couldn't afford a good air conditioner at that time. That that show you Lamar is from that area, from that hood, and he knows how critical an air conditioner is for the whole house. Had an air conditioner in the living room. I can tell y'all some story back in the day, but his clothing line, Eight Apparel, a lot of that money goes to Africa and stuff like that. They don't, they don't talk about this, you know what I'm saying? They don't talk about this. He's not even, you know, he ain't got the big, big, big money he's about to get. That dude ain't changing, like Marlon Humphrey said. Most humble dude, he ain't changing. Got these sponsors and stuff. That dude is still chilling at the gas station with the fams. Going back to the neighborhood, playing with the kids. Showing them money cannot change a good heart. Just something to think about. But it might happen before July 27th. Then we're going to do another video about it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. Thanks for the support. God bless.